This is the annual Art and Wine Festival in Millbrae. Let's hear what festival attendees and vendors have to say. Each year, the unofficial last weekend of summer brings enormous crowds to downtown Millbrae in the Bay Area for Labor Day weekend. An artist and her husband launched Art for Elephants seven years ago, and they travel around the world. A lot of artists do elephants. They end up in everything, motifs, shower curtains, cell phone covers, but they're generic, a species. I am a portrait artist, so these are these actual elephants and chimps, other animals too, because I really want to tell the story of that animal. I know I want people to see them as individuals. A lot of these elephants come from terrible situations. They've been exploited for riding, tourism, zoos and circuses. And we are working to get them into appropriate sanctuaries or re-released to the wild. And I think if humans could look at them as individuals, it will help us save the species. Her husband takes the photos that Rudder then draws. So what, are you, what goes through your mind while you're drawing? When I draw a subject, when I, whether it be a chimpanzee or an elephant or anything, I really want to tell the story and get to the truth of that animal. So I don't want to just make it look pretty or make it look cute. I want the story of their life with their exploitation, their humor, their, their rescue in the face and in the eyes. And I really want people to look at them and feel that from those animals. In addition to one-of-a-kind handcraft work and food from nearly 300 vendors, people enjoyed live music. One, two, three, four. That music is not just something that you play, something that, that people hear. Music is a service. Music is for others and not for you. Music can heal, music can inspire, and music can empower. This group consists of six band members, and they were humbled with the turnout. We did not expect that many people to be out there, like all the tables filled. Like we thought like only like a few like of our friends, family members would be out there. It's really, really nice to see that people are like supporting us and our band. We are Unparalleled. Unparalleled's origin started out of a garage at one of the members' parents' houses and grew from there. But then these people taught me to feel the music. It's not just like counting one, two, three, not like straightforward like math, but to actually flow into it. The festival also had many small businesses, including an entrepreneur who retired from a tech business and then started Golden State Snacks about 10 years ago. He and his wife thought that folks were interested in healthy eating. We decided we would start sharing some of the fruits of the Central Valley, nuts and whatnot. So we went to different farms throughout the Central California area and gathered all our um, base products, pistachios, nuts, dried fruits, and so forth. We started at farmer's markets. I got some good stuff here. Yeah. Got some good food, um, got fun games and stuff. So, yeah, I think we're having a good time. One child had a cartoon portrait of himself drawn. Were you nervous? A little bit. Enjoy it, celebrate it. It means a lot to a lot of people, you know. Uh, labor made this country what it is, so remember those people before you. The Millbrae Festival happens each year before Labor Day and segues into the autumn season. David Lamb, NTD News, California.